Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's your boy Zuko Mavi, and then today I'm pretty much going to be showing you how to make a modern racing game in Unity. And by the end of this 30 minute tutorial, you're going to be able to have something like this. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. First thing you want to do, you know what I mean, just start a new project. So I'm going to be working with 2019 point, this one right here. Instead of using a Unity standard car system for your car, you're going to be using Vehicle Physics Pro. It's, you know, free. So, I'm gonna get down with that. And for now, just make sure when you download the car that you can actually, the tires have to be a separate mesh from the car. So once you got your cars imported, go ahead and organize that. Then we're going to go to the vehicle system pro, go to our scenes, go to sport coupe demo. Open up that scene. Then we're just going to push play so you see how everything's starting out. Uh -huh. so starting out, this is what you get for free. Very useful. And this is why you use it. I, I tried before coding on myself and I got pretty far where I got like this bar and everything and this is when I found this because it was a lot easier and you, you actually get a little drifting and it just feels a lot better so once you get a new I mean, you'll see it's a lot better and you got all these different camera angles you can see change all the different camera angles and it just feels a lot smoother than unity standard asset but uh I didn't think it came in AI pretty sure it doesn't so you can use standard AI Unity's asset store, which is just as good because the AI doesn't have to be that smart, it just has to be good enough. So, seeing this, it's pretty nice. You see, you already got your basis for it. a nice car game. Ooh, this is good. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and continue. So, what you pretty much want to do. So we're going to create an empty game object. We're going to take the sports coupe, camera controller, the dashboard, the UI, drag it all inside. Name it car. Drag that in. And we're going to create a new scene. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and just create a plane, get our own car moving in, our, in there. And then from there we continue on. So we're gonna go to game object, create plane. Uh, make sure you generate, auto generate lighting this off or it's gonna be laggy. Make it really big or as big as you want. But once you create your new scene, you're just going to drag your same prefab that you just made, drag it into the project, click on it, make sure you delete the other camera, click on the sports coupe, zoom in, pull it up a little bit to the, I mean, press play. Now you got your car on a new scene. Now to replace your car, you're gonna get your car prefab from where you downloaded it to. But now we're gonna see, let's see. We're gonna be using this one. So pretty much you're just gonna be lining it up with the cars and replacing the tires. So I thought the easiest way to do this is go ahead and just drag the car in there. Line it up accordingly using the directional tool over here or 
typing it in the coordinates. Oh, not over there. Make sure you don't mess with the rotation. So type in the coordinates or use the direction cue to get your car placed up nice. So once you got the car placed up, you're pretty much just gonna be, you wanna unpack and unpack. What you wanna do is drag this into the model. Get rid of your sports coupe. Nope, actually you're gonna keep that. So let's see. I'm gonna get rid of the your new car model for now. We go here, we're gonna be getting the tires only. So let's make sure we get the tires. Got right here, right here, right here, right here. Make sure that's everything. Yep, that's the tires. That's all you need. So the rest of the stuff you're pretty much gonna be getting rid of. Though. delete all that stuff so now that you have all that stuff you want to bring your car back in your new car so those tires look like they're about in the same spot you're just gonna have to mess with the colliders and you should be good so the tires are aligned already make sure your tires are aligned or at least good enough we are going to go into the wheel pivots over here. As you know, you're going to go into the wheel colliders. You're going to be replacing the meshes. So for this front left wheel, I'm going to click on that. It says caliper and wheel. See, for our new car, we have caliper and tire. Pretty much just going to replace it with a corresponding one. You know what I mean? So we got wheel, we got caliper. So once you have those matched up, just push play, see how everything runs out. Now, as you can see, it looks like the right tire is popping out a little bit more than the left. In that case, you would just want to move your mesh over to the right slightly. Nice. So, you know what I mean? You're already pretty much getting somewhere, you know what I mean? So now we're going to do the AI. We're going to assets and type AI. Actually, instead of typing AI, type in car. And then should come up. There we go, right here. Car waypoint. So this is what we're gonna be using. So for now, we're just gonna get him chasing us. We're gonna replace his mesh first, just see how he works. Then we're gonna replace him, replace his mesh, make him chase us. And then we're gonna actually get our cars on a track. So that's gonna be the third step. So for now, let's, in order to make him chase us, in case you want to do like some type of cop AI or something like that, or, cars are trying to chase you or get you you click on the waypoint go to the AI control and the target you want to make your car so in that case it would be this one right here and it should chase us
So now we're gonna get our cars on our track. So actually we're gonna replace the car now. You don't wanna get ahead of yourself. So for now we're gonna replace the AI car. So when we get the cars racing, it's gonna actually have two nice cars racing with each other. So we're gonna bring in our other car asset that you downloaded and pretty much do the exact same thing. Place the mesh and then replace the tires. It's gonna be the eye over here. But this is a little bit wider, so we're gonna go ahead and I mean, shorten them out with the tool at the top. Transform tool. There we go. So that's about the same now. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of our car's mesh and keep the tires. Make sure everything's aligned with that. Then we'll move on from there. So get the tires aligned. That's about right. Don't have to be perfect, you can always fix it later if it's not working. So go ahead and drag it down. Now let's about to right there. All right. So for with this one, it's a little bit different. I'm gonna go ahead and unpack and unpack, bring this one in. And for this one, you're actually gonna click on the car way, the car waypoint base. I'm going to click on the prefab here, then click on meshes, and just replace the mesh. So you're not going to actually need the calipers for this. So I'll go over here, tires, and replace the mesh. And it's pretty much the same concept, so make sure you get the front right with the front right, and the front left with the all the same. Once you got your tires in place, get rid of the mesh of the car. Get rid of the whole sky car mesh. Then bring your meshes back in. And let's see how that goes. So as you can see, you know what I mean? You're already getting, getting pretty close to a racing game. So now we're gonna go ahead and get into building the map now that you got both the cars, okay? Go ahead and line these guys up next to each other. Take him, rotate him. And we're gonna go ahead and design the map. So we're gonna delete this plane, go to game object, create. Through the object, terrain. And this one, all right, so for making a map, we're going to be keeping it simple. So, all right, so for making a map, we're pretty much going to be keeping it simple. I mean, and uh, the same logic would apply to a bigger map. So, just for the tutorial sake, we're going to be keeping the map, you know what I mean, nice and simple. So once you think your terrain is good enough, which for now I'm saying this is good enough, for yours you wouldn't make it as good as you want. But for tutorial sakes, we're gonna keep it moving. Next you're gonna do is add the markers for your AI to follow. So for that, you're gonna create empty cube. All right, where's that cube at? The 
make a red material for it. That's I find it easy to keep track with your weight. You know your markers. Going to disable, remove the block box collider, but not going to need that. And just pretty much start with one and just cubes around the map. This is going to be where they fall on. So pretty much just move it around the map. Control D to duplicate it. Yeah, something doesn't look right right there. Looks like my map's not completely fat, but we can fix that in a second. Control D. Just pretty much move the markers right on around the map, one by one. It's gonna be a map for the, the markers for the AI to follow. All right, my map's not flat over here, so we're gonna fix that. Although I think the AI follows it no matter if it's flat or not, because sometimes it works. At least it tries its best. All right, so once you got all your markers, you're gonna create an empty object, create an empty game object, Type waypoint, waypoint circuit. All right, I'm gonna name this waypoint circuit. You're gonna drag all your cubes into the waypoint circuit. You click assign. And if it's not maxed up perfectly, you're gonna to have to put it in order by pushing up or down on the corresponding ones. So go ahead and fix it like that. Make sure you keep it one, two, three, four, five. That's why I did it, starting with one. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So gotta deal with it. So once you got it all lined up, you're gonna click on your waypoint base and gonna make sure for the target, you're gonna put this waypoint circuit. All right, with that being said, you're gonna have to have like a little second to start your car for now. So we're just gonna put the AI a little bit behind you to make it a little realistic. So you're gonna drag them back a little bit like you in first and you're gonna get rid of the little red markers by selecting all of them. Disable on the mesh collider, and when you push play, you should have like a little mini race going. Oh, 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 turn you on up over there. <laughs> oh, so once you got your waypoint circuit right, once you assigned everything and have it everything, everything in order, you're gonna click on your car AI. And then we're gonna to go to the waypoint progress and drag in your waypoint circuit. And for your target transform, let's see. Actually, you're gonna want that for your AI, for your target transform, go to these helpers and waypoint target system. And that's pretty much the start of your race. All right, so now we got the AI moving around the track with us. For now, we're gonna just pretty things up because obviously, as I said, this is gonna be a modern day racing game and it's looking pretty old school. So I'm gonna show you how to make everything look a lot nicer. So first thing we're gonna do is add some post-processing. 
actually before we add processing, processing want to add some grass in to live everything up. For my auto grass, I use Dr. Reno, which is pretty much a free auto grass. I spent <laughs> too much time like hand painting textures in and just pretty much found about this auto grass about a couple weeks ago. Pretty useful. So you're going to click on auto grass, drag in your terrain, and then make sure you add a grass texture. So for this one, I'm going to go to add that one in, make it white and add that in and you're gonna have to play around with the density so let's just put 0.5 for now see how that goes yeah see 0.5 is way too much uh i mean uh, honestly that should be good enough but remember it's adding grass all out here too so gonna mess around with your draw calls show you guys how to fix that so the draw distance isn't that isn't that high, so I think we should be good. My system's pretty good, so you can honestly delete grass all out here, or hand paint the grass if you want to. However, I mean good performance, but from now that's just going to be the example we use. So I'm bring that up, make it look a little better. Drag down the density a little bit, and then we got grass, so that makes it look a little better. Also going to add some rocks in the background to liven up the scene a little bit. some post-processing. So pretty much just added in all the post-processing and it looks pretty smooth. So you go ahead and spice it up a bit more and uh, speed through all this. Pretty much just duplicated all the AI cards. I mean, they're all going to be going on the same path. Just duplicate them and then replace the materials. And then also uh, spice up the environment a little bit more. Then speed through that and then let you guys see how it looks. So pretty much after taking some time to patch up the lighting and the environment, this is what I came up with. And pretty much after like a 30 minute tutorial or less than a 30 minute tutorial, this is what you can create. For the next part of the tutorial, this is going to be the end of this part. For the next part, pretty much going to be wrapping up, you know what I mean? The start, finish, and keeping the, the place of what you're in. And then also going into details of having to like change the color of your car, being able to select your car, kind of like shown in this example right here.
also I want to you know definitely appreciate everybody that watched the tutorial uh, make sure you hit that like subscribe if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video